Mike Emanuel traveling with the Clinton campaign in Akron, Ohio. Mike, thank you. There is new evidence tonight that the FBI and Justice Department agreed to destroy the computers belonging to senior Clinton aides in exchange for their cooperation in the now closed criminal investigation. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge with the latest on that. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Brett. Writing to the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, said the five immunity deals include two side agreements with Clinton attorneys Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson, who oversaw the sorting and destruction of 30,000 Clinton emails deemed personal. Under the Justice Department deal, the FBI got access to their computers, and in return, they were shielded from prosecution for obstructing justice, and the FBI agreed to destroy the laptops after concluding its search. Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte told Fox News, quote, these side agreements with Mills and Samuelson coupled with the many unusual aspects of the FBI's investigation cast serious doubts about whether the decision to not prosecute Hillary Clinton was made impartially or was predetermined by the Justice Department. Last week, FBI Director Comey was pressed on why investigators relied on these agreements to seize evidence rather than the routine method of impaneling a grand jury. In my experience, you can often do things faster with um, informal agreements, uh, especially when you're interacting with lawyers. In this particular investigation, the investigative team really wanted to get access to the laptops that were used to sort these emails. At today's briefing, Fox News asked if the State Department condoned the destruction of the laptops given the ongoing Freedom of Information Act lawsuits for Clinton's emails. I can't speak to immunity agreements, and I certainly can't speak to the FBI's investigation. Um, as we've said before, our focus is on processing for public release the materials we have received from the FBI. A Justice Department spokesman said officials are reviewing the letter. The department has seven days to respond, Brett. Catherine, we've been hearing a lot about this WikiLeaks announcement that they're going to come out with some blockbuster that's going to change this race. But it's been changed now to a video release tomorrow. Well, that's right. The head of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, canceled a dramatic announcement from the balcony of the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he's been living for the past five years, to avoid extradition to Sweden, where he faces sex charges. In a tweet posted today, WikiLeaks said the presentation was made to Berlin and will now be a live video link after developing specific information about Assange's safety. A former senior U.S. cybersecurity official said the decision may be calculated. It could be because he wants more attention tomorrow with the big WikiLeaks anniversary. Or could it be that his primary source of material has told him they would prefer to wait? WikiLeaks is delaying the announcement of the past, present, and future of the group on its 10th year anniversary and not an October surprise. Now, of course, we will have all...